Good morning, good morning. Let's just start our day uh, as usual. Love hip hop radio music just to start my day. And today, what I want to do, uh, there's a new, we got a new signal from Company Insiders, and I'm ready to share that information with our audience. This may may not uh, stock go into our uh, portfolio at the Insider Report which is managed by our senior editor, Ross Gibbons. But nevertheless, I, I thought it was a great idea just to share with you the analysis, the step-by-step, -step, what I call the play-by-play, -play, actually, and how we do things, how our team puts together all the information as soon as we get that. So I just heard the music I like to, to set the mood before I start reviewing several pages and all the information I need to put in perspective before we decide to recommend one particular stock but the only reason why I take a look at any stock will be uh, as soon as we know exactly what happens with the insiders we need to know a couple things we need to know we need to know who is buying how much and when and the reason is because would you trust are you are you going to trust a company where the owner or the CEO or the president of the company is not invested in does that sound like that they trust their company their products their services no it doesn't so you want to you want to expose your capital where these insiders company C level executives when they have skin in the game that's exactly when you want to participate you don't want to just throw technical analysis. All that's great, fundamentals, earnings per share. We'll look into that. But the critical, the catalyst that makes you want to take a piece of that company, buy common shares, that's when you know company insiders are buying in because they only buy for two reasons. Two reasons only. Number one, they are buying their company stock at a discount. And second, they know that something is about to happen because at the end of the day it doesn't matter how skilled you are how many years you you've been working for bank of america merrill lynch lloyd's bank barclays morgan stanley jp morgan or goldman sachs company insiders they will always have the upper hand always it doesn't matter how skilled how much you get paid if you're a managing director or any big investment bank in the u.s doesn't matter company insiders are today Wall Street smarters and most profitable investors and traders as well so that's those are the ones we want to follow forget about stochastic and anything else first insiders first the catalyst and then we'll look into exactly what is happening on technical levels just to give us a probability in if we're buying where are we heading and if we're selling how long it may may not go okay great as usual please remember that all these videos are for educational purposes only we do our best to put all this information together but remember we are not financial advisors we don't know your risk profile so you must determine your risk at all time keep in mind as well that past performance does not constitute future performance having said that let's begin so the company we're looking at today we have it I have it in LinkedIn it's GSE Systems, an engineer services simulation technology that work with nuclear, uh, gas, oil, uh, and in general. Now, the reason why we're having this discussion, we're, you're watching this video, is because we just got our signal via our proprietary software that Kyle Ludermilk, Kyle, Justin Kyle Ludermilk, acquired 100,000 shares at two dollars and thirty cents and he's the ceo of this company now those hundred thousand dollars share were at a price of two dollar and thirty cents it mean that he is putting in the fire he's risking a bit of his skin in this purchase because that's the total price is worth two hundred and thirty thousand dollars let me have in my notepad here he is risking the ceo is risking his money and we we review and I will share with you the 
SEC Form 4 that we review all the time. We get these signals and alerts to make sure they are actually buying with their own money, with their resources. He is risking his money, $230,000. Now, we will also take a look. I want to know, we need to know exactly how much he's risking from his yearly pay or his compensation. So now we have this information. Uh, he got a hundred shares okay also to note this is the first time he is purchasing um, he's adding clusters since 2016 since june and may 2016 so first let's have notes purchase since june may 2016 so what is happening why is he doing this now we'll take a look later at the charts and see where is the stock right now bearish bullish trend but there is this is what we call high 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 conviction high commitment he's not only risking his own money but he's telling us that at this time this is the time where he's once again committing himself committing resources because he's buying directly he's committing to this and to this uh, particular stock to his company stock so we have to take a look at it now <clears throat> Uh, here's the SEC form. This is where we take a look at all the SEC forms when C level executive company insiders when they file this information. We have to look into make sure he is actually risking skin, uh, he's actually risking resources. You see here that it was in two tranches May 20 and May 21st, 30 and 70,000. As I mentioned, direct purchase at two dollars and thirty cents and he has a total now of four hundred and ninety five thousand four hundred and sixty two shares now also there's one thing to notice this purchase represents just put in my notes twenty five percent more from previous holdings taking my notes sharing those with every one of you and it, this tells you that he's heavily invested in the company this is not only representing one percent compared to what he actually had no this is 25 percent more so uh, GSE system he uh, the company has a highly committed individual that's what that's what Justin Kyle Luther milk is it's a highly committed individual to his company and he's putting dollars where his mouth is where he is because he's the one that is working on daily basis month by month to build value for shareholders okay now the other thing i want to take a look at look to different websites uh, where they re register information this may may not be accurate but we have the compensation for executive uh, executive at this company and the compensation for uh kyle justin luther milk the base base three hundred and sixty thousand dollars a little bit more five hundred dollars more but if you compare that the 360 let me take notes because this is important see all this all the signs best pay is 360 500 versus latest financial commitment in the company Two hundred thirty thousand dollars. So he's he's adding more half uh, more than half of his best base pay in this compensation. This is for three sixty. That will be a hundred and almost a hundred. Yeah, a hundred a little bit more. So it's not it's not really it's not really small potatoes. We're looking at. A CEO that is adding more than half of his yearly pay, base pay, into this position. So this is something that we're taking notice. Now, the last thing, here's some, um, just a quick, again, GSE system. This is the website, the leadership. And, again, this is the man that is telling us that there are better days ahead for GSE systems. Ticker symbol, GVP. Again, I repeat, ticker symbol, GVP. So now that we have all this information, we have the fundamentals, the fundamentals in the form of a catalyst, knowing that company insiders are buying, and we have several several points that check my list. He is the CEO, he is buying directly, 
Also, he's buying 25% more than what he previously previously owned. And this is the first purchase. This is the first allocation that he has since June and May of 2016. Think about that. That also sends you a signal. So now, once we have this information, now we jump into the charts. Now, we can see that we're in the monthly. I have said this before. I repeat it all the time. I don't start looking. Our team does not look for anything less than weekly monthly and daily the four hour chart is great and everything if you're looking for an entry for a couple days we're looking to work between six to twelve months and i'm going to take this time to explain why there are laws in the u.s there are laws in the u.s established by the sec securities and exchange commission that insiders company insiders must follow to obey the law so they can legally conduct insider trading there is the legal way and there is the not illegal way and these company insiders are following the rules the laws in the united states of america by the regulator now if you want to know more about this exactly how it works how we know this how we go into reviewing the sec forms and all the other software that we use websites please go to the description of this video there's a link where you can watch Ross Givens is the senior editor of the Insider Report and senior editor of the Insider Report and you can learn from him. A man that spent more than a decade at JP Morgan as a VP will explain to you exactly how it works and why, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the insiders are Wall Street's smartest traders and investors. So go ahead and do that. If you're ready, you have information, you're curious, you want to explore, you want to improve your trading and your results, go do it now click on the description of this uh, in the in the click on the link in the description of this video and watch directly from Ross Givens all the details now great let's continue and show you exactly what I will do now I always use a fifth explanation moving average this comes from my days trading um, well trading on behalf of clients in the US uh, we were buying between at any given time per month two million dollars worth of gold contracts two million dollars to four million dollars and we used to uh, place those trades uh, through uh, what, what was the beginning of the explosion of online trading and multi-asset trading platforms with Saxe Bank uh, back in the days in in Panama that's how we used to work for uh, execute for clients and what we learned at that time there were a lot of these clients these future future traders were following Larry Williams. You may may not be familiar with the name, but what I'm sharing is that one of the first thing you learn from Larry Williams in the uh, Crack the Money Code was one of the first. Um, it was a DVD, training DVD, to learn how to trade futures. Is to use the fifth exponential moving average to determine price direction. Now, pay attention because after that there's a few hints, few tips that you have you must follow. If prices are trading above, you're looking for buys. If prices are trading below, you're looking for sell. Nevertheless, pay attention in the price action. Price action is everything. And what you want to take a look here is that all the prices are relatively now closing. They can always push, reverse. So you want to see how is this happening. And you want to take a look at historical levels to determine where are you and what actually May may not happen because remember at this point we have here 2014 we have no participation of insiders keep in mind remember what i said ceo justin kyle little milk last purchases happened between may and june of 2016 so sometime here we have here all right and then you see the push from that moment the stock went up as high as 60 65 to 70 percent please keep in mind this this is where he bought now if he's doing the same here we may have a little bit of a challenge in this region because we're trading below so we must be cautious we have the signal so we must evaluate now if prices are going to reverse like they did this time or like they did in different occasions especially in this moment we have to evaluate now what i will do is take my range and establish my potential loss i need to measure my risk if i want to take a position in this company especially because of the circumstances so if i look for historical levels 
it could be this position sometime in February 2014 repeats here as a resistance and remember markets have memory they tend to they tend to repeat some behavior it's not a guarantee but that's what they have to do because they have memory and when you trade stocks there is a volume implied and as Ross Givens our senior editor and design report explains stock prices they do pretty much two things they go into price recover uh, price discovery mode means that they keep going higher may go lower as well or they move sideways that's it prices now are trading lower but they can move sideways and go up and that's where we want to be we want to position before it happens because once it happens it's too late you're not gonna maximize the 80% of the price action so you want to position yourself now take a look at this and I'm playing with this range and take it all the way and this is my level go comes all the way from January 2006 so I have it's not this is not a simple four hour chart where we're looking at super resistance this is this is something that has been happening for more this is almost 12 years of data included in this in this point and if that's the case then this is where I will I want to start taking risk so knowing this I'm looking probably to a drop if it happens all the way to 185 so now I'm ready to take risk measure my my position going long and if I am in this uh, this region let me just okay perfect somewhere here uh, perfect we have it now and let's work so I'm just gonna go up and look for my risk I'm looking at an estimated risk of 19% I will prefer this is my preference my opinion is not a suggestion from the table of and you know the round of analysts I'm looking for uh, probably 25% risk because to the upside closing the gap to the upside I'm looking for again a 70% return if you look up to 1925 I'm still have I'm still get away I can walk away with a risk reward ratio around two to one three to one and that will be fantastic it doesn't happen all the time so you must measure your risk and once the position if it happens starts moving up moving in our direction going up then we have to adjust our stop losses we have to maybe playing with our trailing stops so we have a lot of things that we can do and this is the analysis we're not looking at this because we just thought it was attractive as uh, just drawing Fibonacci or different levels no we're looking at this company GSE system ticker symbol I repeat GVP because we get from our proprietary software that CEO Justin Kyle Ludermilk acquire a hundred thousand shares that's 25 percent more from what he previously had and that's that's the signal we're looking we want and we want to participate with those men and women that work on daily and monthly basis to build value for shareholders when they're in we want to take a look at that company assess their risk and go in that's what we're doing at the side report okay perfect so this is my position like I said I will prefer to take a 25 probably 24 25 uh, drawdown haircut uh, that will be my exit strategy if prices get to 173 I will exit my position but then again this is what you have to do please note again this is not a position that uh, has been decided or suggested or is part of our portfolio in the uh, premium report it's not the case but we got this information we thought it was essential we wanted to share more with the public what is our play-by-play -play? how we do this and as you can see we do our due diligence we take a look at even how much you make as a c-level executive what is your the breakdown of your compensation and that's how you position yourself to have an edge in the markets now having said that this is a position that I will be taking remember 24 hours after I publish this video that means that when markets open on Monday I will look into initiate my position in the company ticker symbol GBP essentially because CEO after CEO Justin Kyle Lure Milk after buying two clusters tranches of equities stocks back in June and May 2016 he is coming back with a hundred new uh, new 100,000 shares this is very important and again before we end just remember to the right over here there's a red button just click there if you like 
our videos, our content, please make sure you subscribe to Market Search Daily. On a daily basis, we're looking, working smart as possible, very smart, and hard work combined will yield great results. We look for best ideas in equities, following the only strategy that we apply, the insiders. We also look into commodities, gold, silver, WTI, oil, Brent as well, and other commodities like copper, sugar, number five, sugar, number 11. And of course, in currencies, we also take a look at that. And uh, starting next week as well, we will have more into the space of options, options trading, call options buying only. And also in a couple of weeks, we'll have we will release one of our um, latest products, Automated Trading, for those trading Forex and want to automate your trading. Uh, Osiris, Osiris Ragnarok, Osiris, the family of multi-currency algorithms. So I want to thank you for your time. Uh, I know there is multiple sources of information, but I thank you for watching our videos because we think that we do more than our best to deliver actionable, profitable content. And... Uh, you will have this information and do the best with it remember at all time measure your risk if you measure your risk in any asset class you will be set and prepared to make money that's all it is risk first then the profits <laughs> it has been a pleasure thank you for watching and again jose ricardo Tejaen, editor of the prosperity digest newsletter and product specialist at marcus Torres daily wishing you a great weekend and i talk to you soon